So this is again the dome of the diaphragm. We have the inferior vena cava, right? So this inferior vena cava. We said we have three branches here up top. The, these branches would be hepatic, so hepatic veins. What happens is uh, actually the liver, liver, the big guy, this one, it's gonna cover those, it's like, or it's very up, uh, very top of it, like it's very hard to see it actually. Um, anyways, the other thing is the liver and the inferior vena cava are so connected, it's like, so, uh, inferior vena cave actually holds the liver, right? That's, I think that's the biggest thing that holds the liver. It's not the only thing, but I think it's the most significant one. Anyways, uh, if you remember, we had the aorta coming off almost here, and we had the um, celiac trunk. One thing is the inferior vena cava is not going to have direct branches from um, foregut, midgut, or hindgut, right? So it gonna, so these stuff gonna go through liver for reasons that I'm sure you know better than me. Um, and then through liver, it goes to the inferior vena cava by hepatic veins. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you how it would all be drawn in terms of portal vein. Let me draw the superior mesenteric artery so this is this is a superior mesenteric artery this is um, celiac trunk right if you remember we had something here it was called spleen remember spleen right and remember it had some arteries splenic artery so we're just going to show the um, veins associated to it right so of course, if it has an artery, the artery came from a celiac trunk, right? It should have a vein too. So the vein would be splenic vein, right? If you remember, the celiac trunk had a branch. I'm just going to draw it here. Celiac trunk, one of the branches, a splenic branch, would go here, and it would go feed the inferior part of the stomach, right? We call it left gastromental or left gastropiploic artery. So the vein from the spleen would have similar path. So it would have the splenic vein, and it would have another path for left left gastro or mental or left gastropiploic, right? That that is significant, and you'll see why. Okay. So the the splenic, so this is a splenic vein. It would go anterior to abdominal aorta. It's between um, celiac trunk and superior mesenteric artery. It's just anterior to them. It does not go into the inferior vena cava. We're not gonna go here. Not this one, right? That's the whole point of the uh, portal system, right? So again, this is like posterior. This is behind the like inferior vena cava is behind this planet, right? So it's gonna come here, right? And then it's gonna talk, talk to, uh, or merge to superior mesenteric artery, right? So superior mesenteric artery. So these two branches are gonna merge, right? And they're gonna go into liver. So that's why it's called uh, hepatic portal vein. I think we all call it portal vein. Just to orient again, this would be the right side. This is the left side. Then the hepatic portal vein gonna have a right hepatic and left hepatic. And that's the rest of the story. Each one has two, but anyways, that's too much. So who else gonna join? The left gastromental or, or left gastropiploic gonna keep going, right? Gonna keep going until it, it reaches the superior mesenteric vein. So foregut, so it would go to the superior mesenteric with a few exceptions. Just gonna draw a shadow of the stomach. So the left 
and the right gastric. So the left gonna go up, right? The left gonna go up because it has some branches for the fundus and esophagus or whatever. So this is part of the left, right? So this is actually the left gastric. This gonna go into the portal vein, hepatic portal vein. And the right gastric would also go to hepatic portal vein. So they're not gonna twist splenic, they're not gonna go to superior mesenteric, they're just gonna go right into the hepatic uh, portal vein, right? Or just portal vein. You may be wondering about the inferior mesenteric vein. Inferior mesenteric vein would go to splenic vein, right? So to this one. So this would be inferior mesenteric vein. So this one was superior mesenteric vein. If I had to draw the pancreas, it, the head would be somewhere in here, right? So let's say just, I'm just dealing with the head of it because that's a little bit confusing. So see the head has a superior and it has a inferior part. It has a anterior and it has a posterior which is behind it, right? So they're going to be four tri tributaries to this. So one would be, so one would be well, anterior, superior, pancreatoduodenal vein. One would be anterior, inferior pancreatoduodenal vein. One would be posterior, post because it's behind it, posterior, inferior pancreatoduodenal vein. And one would be posterior, superior pancreatoduodenal vein, right? So these are all coming from the uh, superior mesenteric vein. So these um, connections are not between portal and um, portal and cave wall system, right? So I'm talking about the pancreas, right? So don't confuse that. Because when we were talking about the arteries, the connection for the head of pancreas, it could be, I mean, it was from celiac trunk and superior mesenteric artery. So it's like two different branches, right? But these, but this one is from the same superior mesenteric, right? Simple, easy peasy. Let's talk about superior mesenteric vein, right? So as it's the same as the artery. So again, the first branch would be associated to the um, pancreas, duodenum and pancreas. And then we're going to go a little bit down, if you remember the picture of the like transverse colon, it was somewhere here, whatever. So we're going to have first middle colic, so middle colic veins. Then we would have, we go a little bit lower, we would have the right, sorry. So we're going to have middle colic veins, and then we're going to have the right colic branches. Then we're going to have the iliocolic because if you remember, so this is the descending colon and this is the ileum is connected to it in here. So the other branch, of course, would be ileo, so it would be iliocolic colon, right? Branch, of course, this is going to go, they're going to connect. So this is superior mesenteric vein. Yes, we're going to have branches on the left side. That's mostly for jejunal and ileal veins. We're going to have a lot of anastomosis. I think it's called anastomotic loops for these ones. Um, you're going to have the straight veins um, and the rest of the story. Okay, the whole point is we're going to feed all of these. I mean, ileum, genum, whatever. But let's talk about inferior mesenteric vein. We have inferior mesenteric, we're gonna have the left colic, right? So we're gonna have left colic here, easy peasy, right? They're gonna go up, right? So that would be the ascending branch. You're gonna go down, so that would be descending branch. We're gonna have sigmoidal, like because, let me just be clear. So from this one here, this thing one third almost of the transverse column we go descending column descending descending sigmoid sigmoid right no, no. then after that we're gonna have the rectal veins and whatever like rectum in here you know canal whatever okay so so we have the left colic ascending descending we get we're gonna have the sigmoidal 
gonna feed here, right? And um, this is the inferior mesenteric vein, it keeps going. And I'm gonna connect to this after here would be, so right, left, superior rectal vein, 